All right, back to another Stealth Bomber review. This will be going over all of the mistakes I made when I owned this bike. Um, and it'll be pretty quick. And then I'm going to show you the alarm system on it, how it works. This is an MB Power Kit. So um, if you have one of these kits, you haven't figured out how the alarm works, uh, it's due to the fact that they didn't send batteries in the key fob. I ended up taking one of these apart and there was no battery inside of it. It takes like a scale battery. Um, I might have one somewhere laying around. Um, but one of my first mistakes was getting cheap brakes. These hydraulic brakes, they're hydraulic brakes, but they're hydraulic pull brakes. Um, I wouldn't recommend them on any bike that's going over 35. It's just they they wear out pretty quick. It's like you don't even have brakes. Um, the rotors are a mess. They basically actually warp, and then they get so hot that they actually glow at night. Don't want that. Um, and once it's real hot, you're not able to stop because the pads are just burning. No, no to those particular type of brakes. If you want if you're going over 35, 40, 45, 50 even 55 miles an hour which I go over then you're gonna need the full hydraulic brakes no cables no nothing they're just full hydraulic um, they're four piston style so you so they stop pretty well right now I'm in the verge of hooking up the um, sensor as far as the regenerative braking which I already got a sensor taken apart. It's basically going to be toggled into this thing right here. I'm have it mounted and it'll be mounted right here. So every time you hit it, this little thing right here is just going to make contact with the toggle switch and you got regenerative braking. Next mistake I made these particular connectors, they're T90s but they're barely adequate. Um, when you put boost mode on, this is for a 3000 watt kit, um, 72 volt, 80 amp speed controller. And I got a battery that's some 70, 72 volt, 21 amp hour, um, 80 amp BM, BPS or BMS system. Uh, I'm using everything that the bike can put out and on boost mode these things are notorious to actually short out or melt uh, as you see this it kind of popped that um, if you keep having trouble with them I recommend ordering Anderson plugs they're 120 volt and they're just better only bad part is you're actually gonna have to take the battery partially like a loose to safely get the um, Anderson plugs onto the wires. Um, wires are a thick enough gauge, they're pretty thick, so don't have to worry about that. Um, next mistake was having a 27 inch kit and I wanted to actually buy a 27 inch rim because I was using a stock mountain bike rim for the front problem with 27.5 inches every single rim you get comes with a quick release you do not ever want to use a quick release on a stealth bomber build there's a lot of reasons as you can see it barely mates up to the axle so that's what you get and I just think it's just damn dangerous. It's not like, I mean, you go on over 55 miles an hour and these things snap on you, you're screwed. Completely screwed. Don't use quick release for the front. I just, they're, they're not trustworthy. They're, they're horrible. As for the alarm system, this MB power kit did not come with a um, battery, so I ended up putting a battery in it. So this is basically how the alarm works. You, uh, this button right here arms it. You hear one beat. Okay, it's armed. You go to mess with it. And that's a warning. 
I'm gonna try to take it. Oh, now it's beeping. Okay, I'm gonna try to paddle this away. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't paddle it. <laughs> it's. <laughs> okay. I can't even arm it no more. Okay, shut it down. That's what happens. It's very hard to steal when all that crap is going on. It won't even, <laughs> you can't even move it eventually after like you try to pedal it off. It's not going to move. It's basically locked up. Now that it's, it, I don't have a key to it, but all right, it's disarmed now, so it's fine. But you can adjust, you know, different modes on it. I haven't played around with it. Um, I know this is sensitivity, which I, you know, turned to the highest, but it works pretty good. And there it's armed again. Didn't like that. Uh-oh. I don't want to be taken. Oh, no. <laughs> it won't turn. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll try to carry it. No. Nope. Sorry, we cannot carry it. It weighs over 200-something pounds. I'm screwed up. Oh, let me just let it go. Let me go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. So now that's gave me insurance. I got good um, locks to it. But... And now I got an alarm system that makes a lot of racket. Plus, I got a eye chip for my phone for GPS tracking. There you go. Let's see. Is this, yeah, it's arm and disarm it. It'll make it two chirps when it's disarmed. And there you go. Uh, I think I left the damn key inside. Because I was going to show you basically, if you get the thing started by the time that <laughs> alarm goes off um, and locks up the wheel. Um, it's not going anywhere. It's just going to, you power up the screen, it's just going to sit there, and the wheel's going to stay locked up. Um, it's not really locked up, basically, but what it's doing is it's making it impossible for someone to actually pedal it away, let alone um, basically kind of like just carry it away. You practically have to lift up the back tire to actually, and you're definitely going to need a friend for it. Uh, these things are heavy as hell, so. Now I got the alarm working, and she's armed. The biggest mistake I made is this kickstand right here. I'm trying to make my own. Uh, I'm going to still use it, but I'm going to have to weld some steel stock to it where it goes over, and basically it'll stop the whole bar from actually skipping past this due to the weight and it falling over unfortunately i bent another axle with it falling over just sitting there um I, that's another mistake do not get these particular act i mean the, this crankshaft um this crank these crankshafts been so darn easy it's not even funny but just for tipping over, it's bent. It, like I almost hit, and it hits that, and I got a scratch right here, but no biggie. I'm painting it. But yep. That was just from falling over. Thanks to the kickstand. But that's that. She's alarmed. And don't want to be taken. I'm still gonna take it. Oh no, I can't. Damn, she really don't want to be taken. And then the process starts all over again. It'll stop for a bit, but this wheel will never lock up until, or be locked until I actually get it to um, shut up. There we go. Now she's not locked up anymore. And she moves freely. But I don't know, I think it's a pretty cool um sorry about the camera. I don't have a GoPro yet, but yeah. Um 
So I got all my bigger tires, which that was a plus. Unfortunately, it actually made me two miles an hour slower due to the weight of the new rims. I did not use this axle, which for a lot of reasons, this you can use this on a, I don't even know if I would use this on an electric powered um, mountain bike that's off road or mid drive. I mean, it's just, it's just a hollow little bitty cap on here. Now you can take this cap right here off of it. You could take this part off of it and have it where it's more to it. But then you're gonna have to mess around with washers and all that and um, then you're still dealing with this hollow axle. Don't trust your life on this thing. Get a, um, if it's more than 27 inch, get a hardened axle like I did. I basically took it off of one of my spare rims over here and put it onto this rim. So I don't have to worry about it breaking and you know fan, um, face plan B but there you go it and I think my next video hopefully will be me riding it there's a little stupid mud flap I made I, I made it because I kept getting drenched but I'm waiting on my crankshaft to come um, I gotta replace this side um, bent again soon I'll have a collection of these pieces of craps oh, look like someone took oh here we go <laughs> bent not bent but double threaded with the pedal because I was an idiot um, unfortunately I ended up automatically ordering another one so I'm going to take this off and have fun with putting a new one on but alright people adios